This is one of the simple yet trickiest math problems of one of the world's toughest entrance exam, IITJEE -E, Advanced, where you have to solve each question in around two to three minutes in order to ace the exam. We have this quadratic equation whose roots are A and B. Now we have a variable alpha, which is given as alpha of n equals a to the power of n minus b to the power of n, where n is a positive integer, that is n is greater than or equal to 1. So what will be the value of alpha of 10 minus 2 times alpha of 8 divided by 2 times alpha of 9? Can you solve it? Now this is a quadratic equation whose roots are a and b. You might think that we will have to find the roots of this equation and proceed further by finding its 8th, 9th, and 10th power, and then subtract and divide them, but that will just complicate things because its roots are crazy, as it involves square roots. Fortunately, to our surprise, we won't need it, and you will see why. Consider this numerator. Value of this alpha 10 will be a raised to 10 minus b raised to 10 and the value of this alpha 8 will be a raised to 8 minus b raised to 8. So alpha 10 minus 2, alpha 8, will be this term minus 2 times this term. Now we will take the same variables together. So we can rewrite this as a raised to 10 minus 2 times a raised to 8 minus b raised to 10 plus 2 times b raised to the 8th power. So now we will take a raised to 8 common from this, and we get a raised to 8 times a square minus 2. And from this, we will take minus b raised to 8 common to get minus b raised to 8 times b square minus 2. Here comes the trick. Look at this equation. It has roots a and b. So both a and b will satisfy this equation. Thus, from this, we get a square minus 2 as 6 times a, and b square minus 2 as 6 times b. So this will become a raised to 8 times 6a minus b raised to 8 times 6b. Simplifying it, we get 6 times a raised to 9 minus b raised to 9. And denominator is 2 times alpha of 9. So the denominator will become 2 times a raised to 9 minus b raised to 9. Thus, our answer will be numerator upon denominator or this over this. This will get canceled out, and we have the answer as 3. Amazing! It was such a cool and tricky problem that didn't even require solving for its roots or dealing with higher powers of numbers. So good! Please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to this channel.